just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like real witness until you smell the roses What's happening, fam? LAR Movement Still Movement. Subscribe to that. Try. You see the thumbnail, man. Um, America kills black men's dreams. I did a live about this, right? But I'm going to make it a little bit more concise. So what I'm talking about is this. And I'm not trying to be like victim Olympics type of thing. But what I'm getting at is you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of the happiness in the Bill of Rights did not include us. So as you move forward in life, when you go to Jim Crow, guys had dreams, goals, aspirations, things they wanted for their families, this, that, and the third, and you had to suffer. You know, people brought, you know, used religion as a way to, you know, toil and suffer for somebody else's benefit and then when you die you go to heaven and that had nothing to do with you know these men's dreams and goals and their wants and desires and their ambitions when they were alive so you know you know nowadays we got far more opportunity and options than we could i could say our, our predecessors right and our ancestors but what's interesting about that is you can be shadow banned in, a min in an instant. The algorithm just don't feel you in an instant, right? Um, you can be canceled in an instant. And the issue with that is this. A, a person's dreams, a person's goals, a person's aspirations, you know, the United States is just not... You know, the place that, you know, multiple people can have multiple dreams because people just don't want to see that. You know, I don't want to see you successful. I know people say, oh, man, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, you can attempt it. I can say that you can attempt it. But um, you can have people sabotage your dreams. And they can get rewarded for sabotaging your dreams. You can have people sabotage your goals and aspirations. And race could play a factor. That's what it is. You know, how many kids go to school and they want to be something and they have the hardest time, you know, with their teachers. People who, who, who are paid to give them information and knowledge, you can't get away, you know. How many people might have the assumption that, um, you, you know, your whatever your dream is, if it doesn't take care of the family, you know, it's not a, a good enough dream. Like, you know, some of us have dreams to just, you know, find out, go in our direction, not go in our direction, dragging family and friends and, you know, and, and, and making up for past wrongs of, of 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 our relatives or ancestors you know you could finally right the wrong that, that was done in, you know you know 1846 and it's like yo that's a lot of pressure pimp so a lot of this has to do with the idea that you know at the end of the day it's hard for us to have a dream you know it's hard to, why don't you tell me your dreams and your goals and your plans? This is not the country for that, man. You, you, we tell people our dreams and goals and plans and they wind up, you know, stabbing us in the back. And using that in our dreams and using our dreams and goals as a platform to propel themselves, man. So America does that, like it kills dreams. So sometimes you gotta, <clears throat> you gotta protect your dream. And, um, Sometimes you got to fight for it. Sometimes you're going to get told no a million times. And when I say protect it, sometimes you got to protect it from people who are out to steal it or out to, or out to destroy you because they can, you know, they, they're backed by the, not necessarily, not all the time the government, but more so they're backed by a coalition of people who will stick together 
to destroy you to make sure you don't have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So this country isn't set up to, you know, to to, to cultivate black men's dreams. And, and whoever comes along, well, you have Barack Obama, and you have Kevin Hart, and you have an athlete on TV, and you have that one. Shut your stupid ass up. Because for every one person you can talk about in your group and my group, you can talk about 15, 20, 100 in yours. And it don't make sense. Well, I don't know why. Well, maybe it's just, listen. I'm just talking about what is. Not what's going to be. I'm Like I said, it's not the victim Olympics. It's just telling young black men and black men, hey, man, this country is not built to help you fulfill your dreams. That's not what it was. That's not what it was built on. That's not how it runs. You know, there's programs for everybody in this nation to, to get ahead. How many of you programs do you see for black men to get ahead in this nation? Think about that, man. So tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.